we're not sure if this place has like asbestos in it or whatever, but if it does, then I think me and Daewon and Sock are probably going to die in like the next couple of years. So you're going to try to film one continuous line to this place? Yeah. But like I'm, I'm starting up here, like drop in right here, which like, like I said, it's ridiculously steep now that I didn't think it was going to be this steep, but whatever. We're going to, we're going to coming up this wall ride right there, which is another thing that's retardedly steep. And uh, we're going to come through here, this little hole in the wall that probably won't fit through. How would you get through there and then what happens? We get, I, I carve on this thing right here and then uh, I'm coming through here. Gotta duck under this thing. How tall are you? Tall enough, like six one two. Then you duck under this thing. This is gonna be like the hardest. This is where I'm gonna probably smoke my head a few times, but I'm going over this thing. Under this thing. <laughs> I can't even walk it. And then like, yeah, go under it, and then. A uh, front side carve around this corner bowl here that we made over this little wave thing. Over the wall ride and then tr try to make it from the wall ride back over up that bank. And that's a full shot. <laughs> Welcome back to the Epic Related Show. This week we have Chris Haslam on the show. You know, when you see his name come up and you see him about to do a trick, you know it's gonna be just something new that you've never seen before. But he just can do anything on a mini ramp or on street. It's, everything's just taken to a whole nother level. Like over and over his tricks just kind of blow your mind. So anyway, this is just a little bit of an intro into the mind of Chris Haslam. Amazing crib, man. This is your place? This is uh, my friend Brandon's. This is where he sleeps. A little, some sort of stain on the bed there. This is this is my setup. I usually go here. I have like this. Doesn't even get over my whole body. Who's this guy? This is Danny Gonzalez's uh, dog, Ginger. She's one of the most stunning palms you'll ever see, Danny. Which it's, skate videos do you have? Look at, he even has a, damn, 442. Oh, this one, obviously this one is the finest one he is. Oh, you're in there, right? I'm in there, yeah. Well, that's you? Yeah, that, like, look at this, shorts even, like. How long ago is this? Dude, I have no idea, was this 2000 and something? So you just haven't cut your hair since then? 2002, yeah. What made you want to grow your beard and your hair real long? I started the hair because, like, just from, like, my buddy Steve uh, in Canada bet, like, I told him I was going to grow it, and uh, I guess he didn't believe me, so he bet me that I couldn't grow it as long as his or whatever. For, like, 50 bucks or something, something lame. And that was, like, to here. I think it was in the digital video where I had... That's like in the, that's like mid transformation. That's probably the video that like there's clips of me in that one that have like the shaved head, and the next clip is me with like long hair with some lame ass bandana out of my pocket, and then real tight ass shirt. So I'll put this in. No BMX, no blades ever. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, first complete run in about a year. I gotta bleach my hair. All blonde hair, surf kid. How come all these kids are ripping? Oh, just gotta pretend like I know what I'm doing at this place. When really I don't. Should we watch the almost video? Yeah, yeah, I had first part. And this is where all like that Sasquatch, me being in the woods, like I'm getting sick of it, so I'm sure everybody else is getting sick of it too. So I mean, uh, I should probably stop. They should probably stop putting me in the woods and stuff. So, what's the trick called that you did in in Barcelona over the bump to bar? I I call it a run a run Allen. People uh, that know skate history you just generally know what I'm talking about when I say that. So, like most of the stuff I've done has been done before already. Kick foot, one footed nose manual, like Danny Gonzalez. I've seen Danny Gonzalez do that. Like front board kick foot out. I saw Chris Cole do that in, I think, feedback or something, or reason or whatever. That one, you see, when I'm skating up to that kick foot, my pants are, my shirt is tied around my pants. That's because my pants ripped. And my balls were hanging out, so I had to, like, tie my shirt around my pants so that, yeah, I wouldn't be caught hanging. Do you consider a lot of these tricks dork tricks, or it's like... Really? I've been, I, I mean, I've heard people call them uh, circus tricks, like, just, um, whatever, like, oh, this is kind of weird, like, kind of, like, unusual tricks or whatever. Surprisingly, the, there's been, like, three, there's the, the three tricks that I got most, like, that, that I got, that people were, like, the most psyched on. The kickflip smith at the end, the, uh one-footed board slide and the uh, front blunt on the board. People, they, I think I think the reason why the front blunt on the board was kids were psyched on that is because it, it you could do that any day you want. You know, you could like you could do it on the front yard, you could do it on the, the driveway, or you could do it wherever you want. So I mean, it's 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 in the reach of any level of skating. I, I'm surprised I haven't like I mean I'm sure I got hated on a few times, but I'm surprised I haven't just gotten completely like shunned from any kind of uh, sponsor or skating event from all the lame tricks that I usually pull off. There's been a couple like the crook lip slide that I wish never really came out anywhere ever. Oh, what's this? And oh, there was one dude, there was a career ending photo, like it was a World War Three, the best trick World War Three video. Dude, on the back cover, dude, I had like shaved head like these baggy ass jeans, I don't know what kind of shirt, but blazing Benny Hanna, like, dude, like just so big and just on the back cover, it was so devo. <laughs> so bad, man. I wouldn't mind doing another video, like, like, well, I don't want to say like cheese and crackers, but I want to do like that kind of video, but not of mini ramp skating, of doing something else. Like, I like those kind of, like the kind of cheaper, free kind of, short um, and just fun to watch videos, you know, because I think, I think people want to see fun stuff now. <laughs> we, when, I've been skating with Daywan for a bit and like we'd, we'd always like, there'd be the demo or there'd be like a mini ramp at the park that we'd go to and stuff. So I mean, we'd, we'd just like, we'd be skating mini ramp. So like we knew we, each other's like the skill level of each other. And like we just one day we thought like we might as well just maybe make something, you know, like make a ramp video like we wanted it to like be as like homemade as possible you know i mean there was all kinds of stuff that we built and tried to to get but there was no way like there was one part of the extension that i built like a kind of like a bridge to the wall with coping on it the thing was i don't know what the hell i was thinking because it's not gonna happen so like there was all kinds of stuff that we built that we didn't even skate spent hours building it yeah so, I mean, if you could take a look, and then if you really think that we need to... Oh, really? Yeah. So, I mean, if you could take a look, and then if you really think that we need to... So, I mean, if you could take a look, and then if you really think that we need to... So, I mean, if you could take a look, and then if you really think that we need to...